I would move to Dubai if I could. Mm -hmm. The reason I can't is because my dad won't let me. What does the algorithm want? The algorithm is just a line of code. Bro, like I can be a professional footballer if I wanted to. I literally have the ability to be as good as Messi, okay, right? Sweet. So you just told me to uh, guess where you're from. Take a guess, man. I'd say Morocco. Everyone says that, bro. All right, okay. It's, Wait, Middle, it's, Eastern. it's Middle Eastern though, right? Um, no. It's not? Okay, give me a place in the, in the world. <laughs> you want a continent? Yeah, a continent. It's yeah. in Europe. I guess you're just British, aren't you? No. Where are you from, bro? <laughs> Turkish, bro. Okay, th okay, that makes sense. All right, you were born there or? No, no, no. I was born in England, but all my parents and my grandparents are from there. From then, what, that's what it. That's my mix. You know, just straight Turkish. But yeah, um, that's it. Everyone gets that wrong. Everyone mm -hmm. gets it wrong. First guess is always in North Africa. Always. I see. So exclusive here, I guess. We now know where you're from. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. So I'm going to get right into it. You have in your bio stating that you worked for Tope Jizzle, mm. Rumble, Sneeko, all these people. What exactly did you do for them? Okay, so it was different all time around. Essentially, what happened was um, when I was working for Toby as part of the Sidemen, what I would do is simply just clip up his streams and cut them up. And then that was my part of the role of the system. Then I'd send it off to someone else and this audio guy and no, no, no. So that was a small job, only making like 500 pound a month from that, right? Okay. At this time I was like 17 years old, 18 years old. And that's all I really did. When it comes to Rumble and Gideon and Sneeko and all these other big names, I had completely different roles because everything had changed. So the structure of how my whole journey went was I developed my first case study where I helped take a YouTuber from 3,000 subscribers to 150,000 in mm -hmm. two months. Then after that, I took that case study to Sneeko and I said, yo, um, I can help blow up your channel. No, 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 let's work together. Yeah. Now at the time I had to do this because my dad said, if you make 2,000 pounds a month, you don't have to go to university. <laughs> I have a similar story to that one because I had the same issue. I didn't go to uni and uh, my parents were like, no, you're going. And right before uni actually, or I finished high school and uni start was gonna begin, I came and I had like a stack of money. I was like, ain't happening. I'm traveling. Thank you. Bye bye. So it worked. But how did you get Sneeko? Like, what was the process? Because obviously, you just said you had a case study and you sent it. But yeah. So how it started was I was sending DMs to him when he was small. Like when he was he was like we're talking like on Instagram, like 70,000 followers, right? Mm. Now he has like 1.6 million. So 60, 70,000 followers, sending him DMs, trying to work for him, but I was getting replies, but not really, like it wasn't really going anywhere. And then he went live on YouTube, right? He was streaming and he doesn't stream, he didn't stream often back then. This was like ages ago where his second channel only had like 30,000 subscribers, right. right? And I was, he was going on Omegle and doing his one minute podcast like type of questions, but on Omegle. So then what I did, was I stream sniped him. <laughs> I went on Omegle <laughs> and I found him on Omegle. And then I pretty much made my whole proposal there. I was like, yo, well, I'm a hustler. I do this, 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 let's work. And then he goes, oh, I am looking for an editor. What's your Instagram? Took my Instagram, realized it was me. And he messaged me before. And then we started working together then. So then I took him on a call outside of that Omegle chat and I closed him. You closed him. And, and how was it since then working with him? Are you still in contact with him? Like, do you still? Work yeah, so is it? we did for the past three months. I've been working with them, mm -hmm. um, part of my agency, and we did over a million followers generated from on Instagram in the past three months, all just through reels. Yeah, just Instagram reels, clipping up his streams, posting on his main page. We got an extra million followers from. So he only had like six hundred thousand followers. Started working with him. Now he's on one point six million in three months. Sweet. And and when it comes to the business methods that you go by, I know that there is the. Well, the clipping up and running your own clips channels and the YouTube Shorts. Same with the creator beta program, mm. right? Um, what else do you have? You have the management, I guess, right? It's a it's a management agency or? Yeah, so I guess it's a content management agency. I, yeah. Something you could say, something like that, right? And essentially that just comes down to just running the content for anyone. So let's say, for example, uh, someone wants me, let's say Judeon, for example, is a good example, right? 
he said, look, I just want you to handle the second and third channel. That's it. So the main channel, he wants full creative control. Then on the second and third channel, they're kind of just cash cow channels. They yeah. pay the bills, pay the editors, keep everyone, keep everything running. No, no, no. So we can focus on growing his personal brand with the main channel, right? So second channel, this is what my agency does. All he does is stream. Then I do everything else. So he just streams. Then I'll go, I'll rip the stream. I'll make all the clips. So let's say there's like four YouTube clips from there. I'll make four YouTube clips from it. Then I'll post them on YouTube. I'll have all the thumbnails made do all the titles, schedule all the videos on the right days at the right times, and then have all the shorts made, and then post all the shorts on the channels, mm. but how many go up on that day, and all that other stuff. I took his third channel from like 30,000 subscribers to half a million subscribers, mm. and I even got um, a percentage deal on how much the third channel made. Yeah. And I took his third channel from making $400 a month to $30,000 a month. Mm-hmm. And and when it comes to the money making, like you just said, you have the retainer and you have the percentage raised. When it comes to the income generated, is it more with working with them directly or when you run your own clips pages? Oh, working with them directly. Working. The clips pages are good for cash flow. The problem is you don't build anything with it, right? Mm-hmm. So my issue is that I'm at a different stage in my like business journey as opposed to majority of the people I'm teaching, right? So when I teach people in my Discord, the reason is because they want to make their first couple thousand. That's their first, that's their mission, you know? They're going from nothing to, right, I just want to replace my job and make a couple thousand a month. That's Mm -hmm. what they want to do, right? Now TikTok and YouTube and all these other systems is great for that. The problem is when you get to it, you you start to enter a different level of business the longer you do it. So the stage I'm at, I'm at the stage where I want to be building businesses and then exiting and looking at, you know what I mean? Eight to nine figure exits. That's what I'm looking right. for, you know? So I'm looking for around that 10 to 100 million mark. That's, if it's, if the play isn't around there, I'm not interested. Right, so you want to you wanna basically build a, build a brand, sell it. Yeah. Right, okay, so with, with the business model that you're going for, that's very tricky because I'm quote unquote in the same industry. Um, because the thing is, you can you can outsource as much as possible, but you can, can never outsource the algorithmic understanding. It is very difficult. Exactly. So how do you plan on exiting that? Because you can exit, but then the whole thing is gonna fall with the views and I everything. Don't. You don't exit. I don't. I don't plan to exit. These are cash flow businesses. All right. My exit plans. Essentially, what I'm doing is I'm utilizing my skill to get equity in big, bigger companies. All right. And in which I plan to scale using my strategy, and then be able to exit. So the whole thing's already built because I don't do building. Yeah. That's not what I do, you know? I do marketing. So the whole thing's already built. Then all these really insane builders, they all want to work with me because they want to market their project correctly. Yeah. Or the new, it's the new wave of marketing, you know? So if you think about like when the internet first came around, just ad banners, they probably had like a 70 to 80% like click-through rate, yeah. you know? Now it's probably like 0. 0.0001, <laughs> it's, nothing. it's nothing, you know? It doesn't, doesn't do well. Yeah. So now this short form wave of doing everything is literally the way to market anything. We've seen people like Lil Marbu like build a whole uh, music career off the back of it. We've seen people like Iman Ghazi build a whole YouTube thing yeah. off the back of it. Even Andrew Tate put his entire career off the back of it, you know? You can genuinely market anything if you know what you're doing, you know? Yeah. And even myself, been able to market my own, uh, you know what I mean, my own Discord and all this other stuff, all just off the back of it, you know, exactly. back of short form content. So. It, it's the new wave, it's the new wave of marketing. And I understand it to the best of anyone's ability, you know? Right. So that's why everyone wants to work with me. Now I've already acquired like around, I wanna say like two or three mil in equity of companies that are already established mm-hmm. just to do marketing for them, right? And obviously I don't plan to exit now. I plan right. to scale it and then exit. And the equity comes with also a retainer or is just pure equity and? Just equity, I'm not so, interested in. So you're money. the person, so now you're, you're you basically have to be very careful of which ones you pick because you want to pick the right ones. Yeah. What do you look at? I don't want to talk in it too much right now because right. <laughs> simply because um, it's still in the process. No, what, you know? like, not, not the companies that you're looking at, but like the metrics that you measure b- with uh, if you're going to actually accept taking equity from that and then putting in your hard earned time. It's potential. How much potential does this have? Do yeah. I have potential to make 10 mil with this? If mm-hmm. not, I'm not interested. All right, so it has to be something unique and something that's more also because you need. Well, there's a few hype, like hype things at the minute, like stuff like software, you mm-hmm. know, SaaS businesses. Yeah. They're really up at the minute. And then, you know, anything AI related as well, they all go up. Right. And then AI SaaS, you get into that. Now it's a completely different game, you know? Mm-hmm. And 
the one thing that a lot of these like there are certain niches where you can get low views but it converts to high money so yeah. let's say for example trading niche right if you get five hundred thousand views in a trading niche pushing like a trading product or something like that it's going to convert way higher yeah because those five hundred thousand people have a lot of money you know whereas the people i'm pushing to okay i can get 10 million views in a month of, of short forms and uh, of shorts and stuff like that on my own personal pages yeah. but like how much is that gonna convert into? Do those 10 million people have money, you know? That demographic, you know? So my demographic don't really have it. Yeah, I'm teaching them to get it, you yeah, know? Yeah, Whereas like 500,000 views or, or even 100,000 views in the, in the trading demographic now equates to a lot more money, you know? So then I have to think, right, I'm gonna step into these type of niches. If I can get 10 million views in these type of niches, it's game over. Now yeah. it's big, big money, you know? So it is about like trying to worm your way around it trying to figure out what does well. Yeah, exactly. No, I understand that very well because I have a, a TikTok that was basically millions of views, right? 20 million video, views video here and there. Um, but it was comedy, so it did nothing. And then I got that a client, a client from the US, he does um, life insurance, right? He's like a, just a normal dude, just sells policies and uh, you know those, just makes a commission off of it. Got a half a million viewed video and made him almost over a million. So it's like from there on out, I was like, okay, it's, it's usually finance niche. It's usually yeah, finance yeah, yeah. niche. Anything so. in that in that area, as long as it's not too broad, it's it's very very profitable, right? Hundred percent. All right, sweet. And and okay, for the people out there, um, when it comes to making money th strictly from clips pages, you have the YouTube Shorts and the Creator Beta program. If a person needed to focus the most on one of them. Which one would it TikTok. be? TikTok. Easy. Uh, easy, easy, easy. It's no brainer. Yeah. No brainer. YouTube's RPM currently is just doesn't even compete. Yeah. Doesn't even get close. On TikTok, a bad RPM is still better than YouTube's RPM. Still. Yeah. You know? I have um, the best I've seen on a client page on YouTube is like twelve cent. Twelve cent RPM. 12 cents. That's it. That's the best I've seen. And the best I've seen on TikTok is like two and a half. Dollars, two dollars yeah, two dollars and fifty cent you know yeah. which is insane and the reason is because you can't post one minute plus shorts on youtube you can't yeah so as a result their rpm is just naturally mm -hmm. lower you know but on tiktok obviously they're trying to ease more into long they're going from short form to long form yeah. but youtube had to go from long form to short form you know yeah exactly so because they're just easing into making longer videos they're happy to pay more to do so and a lot of people question how long it's going to be around for i honestly think it's going to be around forever like for ages the the beta program right? easy yeah. Is, is it, uh, do you think it's going to spread to more countries or is it going to stick where it's at for a very It's long definitely going to spread to more countries. But think about it. It's in beta. Creativity yeah. program beta. It's in beta. It's not even out. It's not even properly, you know? Yeah. Haven't even reached alpha stage. And then we haven't even reached full release, yeah. you know? And on top of that, you have to think, right, when YouTube pay out in ad revenue, they show you what 45% of what you've actually made. So what yeah. the advertisers actually paid, YouTube take 55%. That's how they make money. Yeah. And then 45% goes to the creator, right? But on TikTok, they're doing the same thing. So when people are like, yeah. oh, can TikTok afford to keep doing Yeah, they're making way more money than you. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you, ain't got, you ain't got to worry yeah, about yeah. if TikTok are profitable. This, this is the best thing they ever did. Yeah, they're yeah. making the most amount of money ever now. You know, it's not can they afford to do it. Yes, bro. But isn't it like a, it's, it's like a glitch at a sense right now? Because from what I'm seeing is... Uh, you can basically have a clip from someone else's podcast with a quote unquote a reaction of your face or whatever that below it. And if that blows up, okay, you make it good money. Great when it's in beta program. But when it's out worldwide and every single person is doing that, they've got to make it stricter because it's just going to be lost money left, right, and center from quote unquote unoriginal content. What happens then? No, that's not true. It's not going to happen. No, that's not true. Because when they're making like unoriginal content, right? Mm -hmm. Clips pages and stuff like that. It still doesn't matter because the ad's been shown in front of it. Yeah. If the ad's been shown in front of it, you should, uh, TikTok get paid and you've been paid, that's it. So they're still yeah. making money. So they don't need to strict, make it strict and all this other stuff. Stuff like saturation, you never have to worry about either because like the reason this TikTok shit is, is so insane right now is because it's easier than ever to get a million views yeah. on a one minute plus video yeah. on TikTok, you know? That's like minimum like a couple hundred bucks lowest you'll see you know it's like and the highest what a couple thousand of a million views you know yeah. i got paid i got i got some on my phone i can show you right now if you want like yeah, I can, i'll good. show you the video <laughs> and then i'll show you how much they made as well um but yeah it's it's actually it's actually insane 
uh, the potential on it right now. Because right. I've ran, I ran a lot of pages. The way I started mm-hmm. like going on, going about it was I would run like a client's page on TikTok. So they'd log me in, I'd post on it. No, no, no. Then once I've posted on it, the creator fund, which is what it used to be. A lot of people get this mixed up. A lot of people get this mixed up. The creator fund and the creativity program. Mm-hmm. KSI and Mr. Beast will be like, Mr. Beast, will be like, oh, oh, I got a billion views on TikTok, got paid 15,000, yeah. you know? Yeah, you did on the creator fund, Yeah, but not on the creator program, you know? So a lot of people, whenever they see me talking about this type they of stuff- They confuse both of them. Yes. Yeah. And they're like, this guy's lying. Mr. Beast said he only made this much money off uh, this yeah. many views, you know? And then a lot of people will, will think I'm a liar, but <laughs> <laughs> but I'll show you right now. So yep. the creativity program right here. Does it affect your uh, views when you're posting from here? Or is, you've, got your, you've got your UK SIM card? Right. A, a lot of people say that. Uh, SIM card stuff is all Fugazi. Yeah. It's not real. It's cope. It's cope for people that can't get views. Right. What people don't understand is you need to target the audience you want to hit. So if you want to hit the American audience, say stuff like dollars. That's why in all of my reels and all of my TikToks, I say dollars. Mm. Now the reason is because the US is the biggest consumer market in the world. They yeah. buy the most stuff. So, so I thought, right, I'm just gonna target America, you know? Right. So that's what I did. So all of my videos, bro, I'm British. I, yeah. I, I live in England and <laughs> yeah. I use pounds, but like I always say dollars, dollars, dollars. This made me $15,000. And I only, I only show results from pages like this that have American, American that American yeah. accounts, they have dollars, yeah. you know? So this is last 30 days, this page made $1,500, right? Now, I don't do the clips on here. I I pay one of my friends like $500 to do it. To do it for you. Uh, yeah. So it's just a, uh, and okay, so for you to create the page, let's say uh, for someone who lives, let's say for example here, because right? mm. by the way, I'm in it, I'm, I'm doing the same thing. Like I, I went into the thing a bit also when it came out. Mm. So what happens is, and tell me if the structure is, I'm just asking, right? You get a guy from the US or the UK mm-hmm. to create an account for you, right? Or you can buy off of him the account. You then um, start posting on there until you get the 10K followers and the 100K views, right? Is it 100K? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you buy from him some tax info or buy some tax info from anyone from the US or the UK or you get tax info. And from there on out, you start making your money. Is there because this is a misconception that a lot of people keep asking and they asked me to ask you, do you need a VPN when you're posting? Not when like you now got the account, it's now with you, do you need a VPN to post or can you just post from where you're at using those targeted methods? Yes, yeah, so here's how it goes, right? Here's how it runs. Um, you don't need a VPN. Don't need a SIM card. You don't need that stuff. You can do it from anywhere in the world. You don't need anything special, right? Mm. Now, if you are in a country that doesn't have it, the best way to go about doing it is to either buy an account or have someone just like, you have to pay. You have to. Like, you, you ha- there's an initial startup cost if you're in a country that doesn't have it, right. you know? Because you need to pay someone to make an account for you that has it. Now, the CPB is enabled, mm-hmm. right? on the account before you even reach any of the milestones. So right. you just have to pay some guy in the UK or like the US, what, $20, $30, you know, to make an account for you that has it on and then send you the details and that's it. Yeah. Doesn't even have to have a bunch of followers. You can do the followers part, you know? Mm-hmm. Or you can buy an account that has the followers, has the views and has all that stuff, you know? So yeah, if you're from a country that hasn't got it, then you have, you, there is an yeah. initial stock. And that is, it's only like, like max a hundred bucks. You can get like a proper account that yeah. has everything on it, you know? But other than that, like when it comes to VPNs for posting and all this other stuff, it's about targeting to your type of audience, you know? Yeah. If you're making Kai Sanat clips, right? Are you gonna appeal to someone in Kyrgyzstan? No, probably not. You're gonna appeal to Western speaking countries, yeah. you know, English speaking countries. And um, that improves your RPM. And if you do it for long enough, you're gonna ha- be in a stage, right? One, one thing I've seen through doing it thousands and thousands of times, seeing tons of pages, tons of videos, tons of clips, is you're gonna be in a stage of where your videos will get like, let's say 100 to 1,000 views, and you're stuck there for ages and ages mm. and ages. It's the consistency of eventually you'll hit a video, 100K views, 500K views, bang, and then it's easy from there. Yeah. You get your momentum, you know? Like my TikTok page, my main TikTok page for Medium Ads got banned at 100,000 followers, right? I'm not even gonna recover it. 
You didn't. Uh, I'm not going to pay to recover because the momentum's gone. What's the point? Yeah. I'm going to start from zero again. You know. And obviously, I know what I know, so I'm not afraid of yeah, yeah, 100k yeah. is nothing. I'll run it back up easy, you know. But that's the point. Like the momentum's gone. The momentum is the is the most important part. Once you've gained momentum, it's game over from there. Super easy, you know. Yeah. The views will come. Views will yeah. come. So here's an example of a video I made. Uh, it's a Logan Paul Dylan Dennis clip. Yeah. Seven hundred and sixty dollars. Seven hundred seven k views. You can send me also the screenshot. I'll pop it off of on course, screen. Of course, but yeah, one dollar eight cent RPM, seven hundred k qualified views, seven hundred sixty seven dollars. You know, so it's like a dollar, right? Yeah, okay. pretty much just a one dollar eight cent for every mm. thousand views. You know, the highest RPM is the US. Uh, I would say also financial niche, right? Or or the finance you know? niche is always is always the, the is best. always the the biggest, the biggest on YouTube right. as well. Especially if you're doing your YouTube long form. Here's another one. So this one is about like yeah. some animal sh animal shelter rescue thing. What's the one thousand on one hundred dollars. What's you know? the views on that one? Um, I'm not sure. I think it got like, I think it got two mil. Yeah. Something like that. But yeah. So you know, what I mean, that's an example. Yeah. That page is at Champion Biz if you want to go check it out. Yeah. Now, the reason I like that page is because the guy that's making clips, he's not actually that good. Like yeah. he's not getting me that many views. <laughs> but like you see how it's like those two videos have carried the entire earning of the whole page in the past mm. 30 days, you know? So he's made like, I've paid him to make like 70 clips. Mm -hmm. He's made like 68 bad ones. Yeah. But two, two only took two clips. Two it only took one clip, $1,100. How old is the page? Um, like a month or two old. So it's a month or so. so it's because yeah. usually it's like first month you want to focus on getting 10K, 100K views. Yeah. Then second month you want to focus on earning, you know? Mm. So... I ran the I ran it up in the first half, uh, pretty much just the speed run getting to 10k views, yeah. right? And then I handed it off to some guy paying for 500. No, no, no. Now I don't recommend paying someone 500 up front. Get the money, get some money first yourself. Yeah, exactly. Then pay yeah. for clips and then post it yourself. You know, but yeah, I currently pay some guy 500 a month. He just does that, mm. and yeah, one video made a return. You know, so he literally posted 69 terrible clips. Yeah, and then, and then and one really clip one. is all it took. Yeah, you know, and then you divide that the amount of money you made from that clip over the other 69 and that's technically how much you made per clip yeah yeah. it's, it's, it's like a nice way of thinking about it. it's like not useless work you know you're actually reaching somewhere yeah you can yeah, yeah but that's an example of like look like because i always tell people look if you join my server right and you pay the premium fee right and you don't get 5 million views in 30 days after following everything in all the videos and all yeah. the steps i'll give you a full refund yeah because there's no way there's it, no way you do it because it, it plays itself it's like a self uh, you know these magic tricks that just do themselves like mm. it just works regardless of what you do whatever the guy picks because it's just if you keep posting it's gonna happen no matter exactly. what it is it's not like it's just, it's just gonna happen yeah, yeah. so it's one enough. thing that a lot of people tend to get mix, mixed up and mistaken is that they see like you gotta remember that I've been doing this so long I get paid so much to do it that like especially like I work with all the biggest guys because I'm the best at doing it that's why yeah. you know now you gotta remember that I've been doing this for so long that my first five videos, I can get a viral video in there, easy, without a doubt, you know, without a doubt, super easily. So people see that and they think, oh, I've posted five videos, why have I not got a viral one? Yeah. Please don't get it messed up. I'm the pro here, you know? <laughs> like, cause one of the steps I always have in my uh, premium section on my server is 60 videos minimum, two videos yeah. a day, at least. So people will come to me, oh, it's been 30 days, uh, I want a refund. No, 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 no. You posted ten videos. You even follow the first step. Yeah. You know, first step is two per day minimum. You need to make sixty videos. Come back to me. See what happens. You know, and and then you have to. You know what I mean, go through all the other steps. But that's why. That's why I have my offer. I'll give you a full refund. If you don't get five million views thirty days, because how can you not? Yeah. You know, it's is it's, it's super easy right now. The opportunity here is insane for anyone that's like that is is making like let's say even if you have a regular job making two thousand a month, like you can supersede that with a TikTok page, you know? Yeah, exactly. Anyone that's really looking to get out of that stage is like, this is the opportunity for it. TikTok is crazy right now, it's right. juiced. And it's not going, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. It's worth investing your time into, you know? And um, so you make, inshallah, a bunch of money. When it comes to taxes, my friend, do you have a, a logistics going on on the side or you're just giving the UK <laughs> everything? Okay, so. When it comes to the tax info on the CPV pages, I'm going to get into your question, but okay. this should be addressed because a lot of people are mm. questioning it. Guys, just lie. That's not a big deal. Right. Like, you can just put in false information. It doesn't matter. 
No one's going to ask. No, no one's going to do anything. You're not going to get rejected. You're not going to do anything. You can literally just put in whatever you want. So just not be, you don't have to pay anyone to get any info. No, you can just put whatever you want in there. <laughs> yeah, so those guys that you're paying for tax info, they're lying as well. And they're sending you false information and making profits. So, but yeah, when it comes to my taxes, uh, I just pay the UK. You just pay the UK? Just pay the UK. Because, bro, okay, look, I would move to Dubai if I could. Mm-hmm. The reason I can't is because my dad won't let me. <laughs> so my dad, I've told my dad, I was like, yo, I want to move to Dubai. Like, all my friends from the UK, they've moved, like, my friends are business guys as well. Yeah. They've moved here. I was like, I'm not going to be lonely. Like, all my friends there. I got all this opportunity out there and all this other stuff. He goes, tell me why. I was like, what do you mean? He goes, tell me why. Why you need to go? Yeah. And I was like, oh, the taxes and all this other stuff. Um, and then, like, oh, there's networking opportunity. And he goes, okay, I'll give you the freedom to travel. Go, book your flight, book your Airbnb, go, come back. Yeah. What did you stay out there for? He said, and then when I mentioned taxes, he goes, okay, so you're going to go live away from your family for what extra money? Mm-hmm. So it's very family oriented. Is right? that what it's worth to you? Right. He says, is, is it worth leaving your family for some extra money? Mm-hmm. And it's not. So right. I stay home. All right. And wait, but like with the UK, um, surely you can become, uh, you can just not become a tax resident by being here for three months, right? Or is it there you've got to totally leave? No, no. If you want to become a tax resident in UAE, then yeah, you can only three stay three months max in the UK. Oh, okay. You can only stay. All right. That's different because I'm from the Netherlands, right? Mm. In the Netherlands, all I got to do is basically be here three months. And if I'm there less than eight months, I'm good. Mm. Uh, like I'm good. Yeah, in the UK, I, it's I did three. It different. Like I, I just left. I hate. Yeah. The, I hate the country. I hate. <laughs> I, I hate all the Western propaganda that's happening over there. So I just straight up and left. Mm. I had tax people coming knocking on my door and like asking me weird questions. Although I, I'm technically not supposed to be in the system. I, I didn't go to school there. Mm. They didn't go to work. I have nothing. But then they come knocking on my door. They'd be like, "Why are you not studying? You wanna? You wanna? You want? You wanna help?" And at that point, I was like. Yeah, it's yeah. like you're, they're trying to suck you in. I was like, no, thank you. I'm out, man. Yeah. yeah. After that point. All right. Um, then what? This is very, very important here. Um, what does the algorithm want? It's a great question. Okay. The algorithm is just a line of code. You remember we're dealing with software here, right? The algorithm is just a line of code that says, if these metrics are hit, push the video. Right. That's it, right? Now, those metrics for short-form content, that's what we want to focus on, is watch time and retention. That's it. That's it. So if you have a sec- seven-second video, you do want to aim for like a 200% type of retention number, you know? So there has to be replay, val- replay value. Or not 200, maybe like 150, 160%. Yeah. You, it needs to be high, you know? Now... If you're aiming, it, that's an example of watch time. So a seven second video watched twice is 14 seconds total watch time, mm. right? But if I have a 40 second video or a 50 second video, right? With 96% retention, even though the retention is not 100% because it's 96, you know, the average person has watched now, what, 48 seconds? Yeah. You know? So 48 seconds as opposed to 14, which one do I push? 48 second one. So longer videos are more susceptible to getting 10 million views simply because of that watch time factor. You can get less retention, but because the video is longer, as long as they watch once the whole time through, you're more likely to get a 10 million view video, you know? So, and you gotta remember, you're competing with, with me, you know? So <laughs> you're gonna, like, not that you're gonna struggle, but when it comes to getting those retention numbers, this is what I've seen, Yeah. you know? Because this is what I do. You mm-hmm. know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So. There's a few examples of stuff like that. Whenever I do YouTube shorts uh, for clients, mainly client work on YouTube shorts as opposed to just cash cow channels. But I'm getting like 130% to like 170% retention on almost every single short I make for clients. Um, Simply off the back of like 40, 50 second videos, you know, Mm. which is like insane retention for those type of minutes. But I continue to just push and push and push them, you know? So when you're like, oh, why have I not got a 10, 10 million view video? It's because you need to push these type of numbers and you really yeah. need to know what you're doing to, to mm-hmm. get to that stage, you know? And with the with the creator beta program, the video has to be over a minute, right? Yeah. All right. And, and when you're growing to the 10K, 
Should you also stick with the one minute so that it, so that it, like you you're 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 basically consistent with that, or should you just play around and just until you get the 10k? Um, you can do both, but I would recommend making one minute plus videos. You're gonna get in the habit and learn the skill. Mm -hmm. uh, also, it's not impossible to get like you can get 10, 20 million views on a video. It's honestly it's not that hard, right? You might do it on a fluke, but I can do it like very consistently. But you might do it on a fluke, and it's not even impossible because it's about the particular moment, you know, the moment you're selecting. So that's the difference, really. So let's say, for example, recently Sneeko and Neon have been going on some like live streaming rampage, yeah. right? And if you select the right moment from that clip, you remember it's like six hour, five, six hour streams every time. If you select the right moment out of that five, six hours, you know, that's the difference between like a 10 million view clip and like a hundred thousand view clip, yeah. you know? So you just have to know how to identify the moments, right. you know? And that's, that's basically what I teach in the Discord, you know, identifying moments and then execution as well, how to execute on, you know what I mean? If you want to do it just on your phone or on a computer as well, like how to do the editing and all that other stuff, you know? And, and, and basically, okay, so you said your family doesn't want to leave the UK, at least right now, but you think there is going to be a point of time where you're going to need to leave like your mindset towards what's going on over there, what's, what's going on over Europe, the West in general, do you think there's gonna come a point where you're gonna be like, okay, that, that, that's it, everybody move? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> what happens. You, you have to remember, right? Like, like, they don't, they can't like control what happens. They don't make the decisions. Yeah. It's God's plan, bro, you know? Like one thing I've always remembered and I've never feared turning down deals when it comes to like all these equity opportunities that come mm -hmm. my way or cash flow opportunities, it's like if something doesn't sit right with me, I have no fear in turning it down. Because if God wanted me to have 10 million tomorrow, I'd have it, Yeah, you know? Something I own would go up or like a new avenue or, or a big client would come my way, like something would happen, right. you know? So if I turn down like a potential $2 million deal but something doesn't sit, sit right with me, that's fine. I have no problem doing that mm -hmm. because God wanted me to have that money. I have it, you know? I don't need to, like, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so you, you do your best and you leave the rest to God. Exactly, yeah. so what I'm saying is, if I'm living in the UK, my family's living in the UK, we're doing our best, right? right. They don't decide what happens to my family. Mm. God does, you yeah. know what I'm trying to say? So that, that's, that's how I see it anyway. So right now, if my family wanna stay in the UK, cause that's, that's where they all are. So it's not just my main family, like my dad, my mom, mm. no, no, no. It's like my cousins, my aunties, uncles, grandparents, everyone's yeah, yeah. in the UK. So what, do I move everyone? And we all live close to each other as well. It's our community, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it's not like I can just move, move everyone. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So there's a, there's a lot of factors to play a part. But as it currently stands, the way I'm kind of coping through it, I guess, yeah. is like, <laughs> as I look, like, it's not even up to them as to what happens in the West. They don't even decide what happens, you know? It's up yeah, to God. Exactly. All right, and, and okay, so to everyone watching, the mindset to reaching where you've reached is what exactly? No one is special. Please remember, no one's special. The way I was able to even get to where I'm at is because I never looked at anyone and said, oh, I can't do that. Yeah. I was like, he's human, I'm human. We're literally the same, same thing. Mm -hmm. Why can he do it and I can't? That's always been it. I've always thought like that, just always thought that. And that was it. I didn't realize how powerful of a mindset yeah, it actually yeah, yeah. is to just have just like that. Cause I've always thought like, bro, like I can be a professional footballer if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. I'm so sure of it. Cause there's no way like Messi can do it and I can't, was, we're both humans. Right. If I just tried hard enough, I have the, I literally have the ability to be as good as Messi, right? I just need to try as hard as him, yeah. you know? And go as, you know what I mean? Do it as long as him and all this other stuff. I, like I have that potential and you have the potential for anything, right? You have the potential to do it in basketball, ice hockey, anything, yeah. you know? Then you also have the potential to do it in business. There's no reason as to why Jeff Bezos can't make like a billion dollars and then you can't as well. You're the yeah. same human, you know? It's, it's all about the mindset because that's the thing. I think that's the, what differentiates a person from a person. Because I'm sure you've had it, but somebody would come to you and, and, and they, would, they would seem like they're, they're the hardest working person in the world but the mindset is wrong, so that's why they're staying where they're at, right? So for example, how would you answer this question? A guy who is cleaning outside, 
we would say he works as much as anyone, right? He works all the time, 24 seven, provides for his family, all of that. Why is he not rich? Yeah, he's not working it's smart, he's working hard. It's the mindset, right? Mm. It, it's like, so that's the, so other than having, okay, I'm not special, I'm not everything, uh, or like, uh, people are not special, apologies. <laughs> people are not special, we're all the same, we can do the same thing. What is the first steps that I should take? All right, so cool. Someone watching, okay, I can be like you. Step number one is what? Step number one is take action, right? So you do want to just act. Mm. Th that's why I think TikTok's the best place because you can literally just start making clips. Start making clips today. Make two clips, make 10 clips, schedule them. Make 10 clips, make five pages, post two per day on all of them, you know? Right. Like you can take action now. Um, the other thing is resilience. I think mindset's one, resilience is another, you know? Because if you, if you're just gonna make 10 clips and then message me, yo, I did 10 clips in 30 days and I want a refund, no, no, no. Mm. Like, you didn't even try. Yeah. You didn't even try. I do 10 clips in an hour, you know? <laughs> and so what, 10 clips in 30 days? I do 10 clips in an hour, bro, you know? Yeah. And then, you get what I'm trying to say, like, mm. you, you, you didn't even try, but it's about like, okay, can you post, are you prepared to post 100 videos, get no views and still go, mm -hmm. you know? Because that's what I did. Yeah. And not only that, bro, I did it for ages. I did so much outreach, so much. I sent so many DMs and I only bagged like, what, one or two clients? Yeah. I didn't start making like proper money until like this time last year. Right. You know? so it's the same with me. I had the same thing. I was like 12 years old. I was doing the same exact thing. But you think religion played a big part in that? Um, Given the fact that you, well, you're technically praying every single day, you have to have a discipline of every single day and maybe you're asking God things and you're not getting the results. It's like you have to keep consistent, you know, every single, so it's, it's like builds that innate I think nature. it played a part in, because I've always been like, like discipline, you mm -hmm. know, like I've always, I've never like had that problem. Right. Like even for example, I don't eat crisps, you know, mm -hmm. it's just not good for you. Like I was eating, I was snacking on crisps and I was like, oh, it's, it's not good for me, I'm just gonna not eat it. Mm -hmm. I haven't eaten crisps in like two, three years now, you know? Uh, stuff like that, like the ability to just cut that out. There's also stuff like the temptations of women and yeah. and drinking and smoking. Like I've never done any of those things. I've never messed around with a girl. I've never drank any, th any alcohol. I've never I'm smoked married. anything in my life. <laughs> yeah, that's good, man. <laughs> I'm trying to be like you. I was like, let me end it before it even reaches <laughs> any certain point. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, man. So yeah. it's like those type of temptations, I never faced them. So mm -hmm. whilst... Like I'm naturally ahead of my competition. Right. If it comes to competitions, it's just living for the weekend, working a regular job just to live for the weekend, you know, just spend it on drink and alcohol and this and that, or you start smoking and all yeah. sort of stuff. Like I'm naturally ahead of you just by not doing it. Yeah. If the average person in the West is doing those type of things, which they are, mm. and I'm not, just by not doing it, I'm ahead of them, right. you know? So that doesn't even count for the work <laughs> that now I'm getting ahead on, you know? Right. So that's, I guess it played a, played a part in that sense mm -hmm. because a lot of that stuff's time consuming, bro. You know, like right. you work just to waste your money on those things. That's time consuming. Now you got to work to make it back, right. you know? And then stuff like, let's say even linking a girl and then taking on a date and all this stuff, like that's time consuming. Like that's, that can be half an entire day. You know yeah. what I can do in 12 hours? <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's long, bro. And then not only that, bro, it's like, okay, let's assume you want to continue from there. It's like communication and all this other stuff. You got to talk with them and, pay time like that's a lot that's a lot of time you're spending yeah. for zinna you know it's a negative yeah. roi it's a lot of time you're spending <laughs> for a negative roi you know yeah so i was like damn like okay i can see why it's haram you know yeah, yeah. so i just never never paid any attention to it and just put all that time that that, that like the average person is putting time into that just ended up putting it into work and yeah. it paid you know that's just how it goes so I, I had the same mindset um the reason so so i always knew that i was gonna reach somewhere you know and i always have big plans i always i, I for me it was like it's a guarantee I'll either die or it'll happen one mm. of the two that's where inshallah come, like this is a quote that i always say inshallah comes in either i'm gonna die or my hand is gonna get cut or something really like disastrous is gonna happen or i'm gonna make it one of the two it's not oh i'm just gonna sit down oh inshallah it will happen that's not my mindset right so I had this thing in my mind is like, okay, if, if I make a shit ton of money and I do what I want to do and then I want to get married or whatever, it's going to be 10 times more difficult for me because, well, who am I? How do I differentiate between the good women or not a good woman, the intentions? I'm going to be wasting my time at that point. I'll be very busy, all of this. 
So subhanAllah, I just had that mindset and I was very afraid of it. And all of a sudden, just an opportunity popped into my, my mind. In a while, I just got married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, thank God. Now, now I'm set. Now I can just focus on my job. And I'm good at home. Everything is chill. I'm I'm relaxed. I'm you know she's pushing me, like to be better. It's it's amazing, honestly, right? So this was the same mindset that I have. A question for you is, um, do you want to get married now, or are you looking for something like way? I'll get married now, bro. Get married tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just it's just finding the right person. That's it's right. really that simple. What you know? what do you look for? Uh, standard stuff. I'd I'd prefer to keep it yeah. more business oriented. <laughs> right, okay, yeah, yeah, but yeah. but yeah, no, it's just standard stuff. Yeah. You, know? you you get burnt out ever? Burnt out? Yeah, nah. No, it's, just it's a myth. Burnt out is an excuse for lazy people. <laughs> <laughs> that's honestly that's how I feel because you can you can keep going like mm-hmm. you just keep doing it when you don't want to do it like that's the part of it. If I'm being honest, running the agency, I don't like that. Man. I don't like running the agency, you know. But I like the money, so I've been burnt out for a long time. Yeah, but it didn't change. Business kept going up and kept growing, kept making more money. You know, because what's the option? What not work? Yeah, exactly. It's just that's not an option. We got stuff to do. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you spend your money on? What do you like to? Because uh, I, I, I think, I don't remember from where I heard it from, but you don't like to just throw away your money, right? You don't like to cars or whatever. Or, or what? Yeah, your no, I can't with that? drive. I don't own a watch. I don't. Uh, I don't you really have drive. any designer you, clothes you, you or anything. You didn't, you didn't go like any driving school? No, nah, I haven't done my lessons or anything like that. Like I haven't, uh, I just, <laughs> I just can't, I just can't drive. So <laughs> yeah, like I, I don't know. I just don't, don't really spend it. If I spend it, I'm, I like, for example, mm-hmm. I spent, well, for example, I spent around a hundred thousand dollars this month mm-hmm. just on like investing into new ventures. All right. That's where my money goes into, you know, it's just make it, spend it back again, make it, invest again, make it, invest again. So doesn't have to be right back into the machine I have, but it's into new machines, yeah. you know? So that's so that 100K has gone towards like um, developing a funnel for products that, and, and businesses I already have. It's also gone into the startup costs for new ventures mm-hmm. and all this other stuff, you know? So that's kind of how I've seen it. And that's what I spend my money on, you know? Like that's right. obviously 100 G is a lot of money, you know? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's that's kind of what I've spent on this month. And then also like traveling and stuff like that. Like when I'm home, I I haven't been home for like two weeks consecutively in like a while. Like right. it's like every two weeks, new place, new week, two weeks, new place, two weeks, new place. And it's not like I'm going just like holiday. It's yeah. people to see, people stuff, right. stuff to do, you know what I mean? Stuff to learn and all this other stuff. So, um, so yeah, like that's kind of what I'm doing with a lot of my time. All right, then, okay. I have a final question for you to end it off. Um, what is the ultimate goal, right? Like, what is the end? Like, w- w- why why are we doing all of this? What is it for you? What's the drive? What's the drive? I'm glad you asked this question because I have a great answer for it. Go ahead. Right? So my objective, my goal personally, is to make a hundred million, and then spend ninety on charity. That's it, and then sit on ten mil to live a nice life for the rest of it. Mm-hmm. Spend the rest of my days helping build why I spent money on the charity on. So that's what I want to do. So one day I was sitting with my dad and I was, and I asked him, I was like, where's my money worth? You know, when I die, was it, was it worth? It's mm-hmm. worth nothing. Now, as, f- as far as I'm concerned, I could be wrong, it could be more ways, but when you die, it's two ways of getting blessings, right? Someone comes to your grave, prays for you, mm-hmm. or Sadaka Jaria. Yeah. So Which is also your children. Yeah, of course. But like, Everyone that's gonna pray at my grave is gonna die. All right. Even if it goes for generations, they're all gonna die. I'll be forgotten, without doubt, right? All right. But, Salah Kajari. Now, how do I develop that? Oh, it doesn't have to be money. Mm-hmm. But, if money is all it costs, that's a really cheap price yeah. for a lot of blessings for the rest of you die, you know? Right. So, like, damn, like. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, this is yeah, like that's 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 the biggest <laughs> ROI you can actually get with your money. Yeah. So it's like I'm genuinely working towards. I want to make a hundred million in the next five years. Mm-hmm. I want to be a hundred million by twenty five, liquid. Then take ninety million, and spend it on building mosques. No right. schools. I don't want to build schools. You get educated at the mosque. That's it. Yeah. I want to build schools. Uh, sorry, mosques, hospitals, and all this other stuff that that contributes to a community. Mm-hmm community centers, football pitches, and all this other stuff, in like underdeveloped countries, then go and lay the bricks myself as well. Right, labor as well. Yeah, because giving the money is not charity enough. 
Yeah, it's no, not no. double. You've got the money and you've got the the labor. Well, I need to buy the bricks to lay them. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's that's my goal. So I want to set up my own organization, my own foundation. I'll, I'll probably set one up sooner than imagine because there's never too late. No one's yeah. ever gone broke giving to charity. Yeah. You know, so it's no, it's never like too early to start giving. Mm-hmm. So I'll probably start a foundation soon, uh, especially with where right, I've got um, access to hundreds of millions of people whenever I want. Right. I can just make a viral video. Done. You know, so if I can make a viral video, raise a bunch of money to give charity why not you know it's yeah. another way to utilize my skill why not so yeah that's my goal my goal make 100 million you're gonna leave anything for your kids or <laughs> i'm gonna have 10 million liquid i don't want them to have too much yeah i don't want to have you're any, not gonna spoil anything. them right no so no no they get do it yourself Same you way. learn too many lessons through Hardship. not having money yeah. and working to like to just be forgotten it's, it's builds builds you as a character builds you as a person yeah. super important and and giving them money just eradicates the possibility of learning those skills so you be careful of how much, you know? All right. Amazing. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, man, for getting into the podcast. <laughs> I hope I didn't take too much of your time. It was good. Thank you for having uh, me on. Awesome. All right. Thank you, guys, and uh, subscribe. All right. Amazing. Nice. Cool, man. I love that. Yeah, so it was good. Is, is, <laughs> you're going to get...